What's up fam? I have played hundreds of crypto games and I am pretty picky when it comes to playing and spending tons of hours in a game. I mean, there are literally so many games, but only a few stand out that seem to be worth the time you spend in them. So I grade my crypto games that I play dependent on two things. How much earning potential is there and how much fun? For example, if a game is very fun but not good in earning at all, at least I can say I had fun. On the other side, if a game is not fun at all, but you have to play eight hours a day in order to make money, then that's not what we want either. So out of all the crypto games I've played, here is a list of games that are both fun and rewarding. Let's start out with number 10, Bloodloop, a 5v5 tactical hero shooter game. I played this one mainly because I love third person shooters and games like this are extremely replayable. There is competition. There is always something that you can improve upon in game. On number nine, we got Metalcore. Metalcore is a first and third person shooter with territorial combat. You can either compete against NPCs or fight against other players and steal loot from them. This game is amazing because of the dynamics of play. All the mechs do different things and there are different goals you can achieve within your races since the world in this game is huge. Coming in at number eight, we have Chibi Clash. Chibi Clash is an interesting one because it's a browser and a mobile game. I like the survival mode in this game and the feeling of almost being dead at all times. It keeps me on the edge of my seat and I like games that can make me feel like that. They are also doing a play to airdrop right now. So look for a link below if you wanna try out Chibi Clash and get started. Coming in at number seven, we have Alluvium. Now, Alluvium is the only game on this list I have not played, and I just didn't give it a good amount of time to dive into. But they are releasing a $25 million play to airdrop, so you can bet your bottom dollar I'll be playing this one to earn some ILV token. I also put a link in the description to get started on this one. Now number six is Medicine. Medicine is a next-gen blockchain MMORPG. It's available on mobile and PC. Its unique mechanics is a bit pay to win, but other players can essentially farm the materials that the whales would buy, and it gives this chance for everyone to participate in the economy. Aperon is at number five. It's a roguelite RTS game with really cool slow-mo mechanics while you place cards down. Ultimately, this is a very unique game. I can guarantee you haven't played anything like it. I will also have a link below to get started. Star Hero is a competitive space shooter and immediately when you jump into this game, it feels very fast, but that's because it is. You literally fly ships as fast as you can and shoot each other that are also going fast. They earned their spot at number four with not only how competitive the game is, but how the top earners in the first airdrop earned over $100,000. So they did sponsor this video. So I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna show you exactly how to collect a token in Star Heroes. Now, it will take three things. Time. Games are time consuming. You will need to play games in Star Heroes in order to climb the leaderboard. All right, number two, skill and coordination with your team is the utmost importance in Star Heroes. You need to win games to climb the leaderboard. And there's always an investment in crypto gaming sometimes. So you can buy fuel to increase the daily limit of games to climb the leaderboard in Star Heroes. You can also purchase boosts to multiply your earnings for Star Score. Lastly, the easiest way to increase Star Score is by going to the link in the description and grabbing a boost from my link. It goes by starheroes.io social file. Coming in at number three, big time. Big time and me have this love-hate relationship. I've never had it with a game before. I've played this crypto game more than any other. Well, maybe not Axie Infinity. But besides that, I have played more big time than any other crypto game. This game goes deep in on crafting, min-maxing damage, clear time, coupled with top-tier communication within parties. It's very pay to earn, but you can play for free and level up. Big time kicked off a gaming bull market, and it created a meta of play to airdrops within the space. It has since died down a bit on the timeline with their new point three patch coming up, I think it will draw me back in and I'll play with a bunch of my old friends. 
number two, we have Seraph in the Darkness. This is the Diablo of crypto game. Literally, if you play it and like Diablo, you will love this game. Not only that, but this game has one of the most in-depth crafting systems and upgrading systems that truly reward top tier players who spend hundreds of hours in the game. Also a game you can pick up for free, but it's more beneficial if you're spent. Coming in for the top crypto game of May 2024 is Nyan Heroes, a competitive hero shooter where cats pilot giant mechs. They're number one for the main reason being the skill cap in this game is so high, which gives a huge reason for esports teams, professional players to form groups and fight for the top spots on the leaderboard. The more competition breeds more attention, especially when the stakes are high and there's money involved. Speaking of money, I played the first play to airdrop for Nine Heroes only a couple hours each day for a few weeks, and I earned $400 when the token launched. The number one player earned $15,000 in Nine Heroes. So not as big as some of the other bags from this crypto gaming video, but it's so fun that it breeds an honest competition within crypto game. Honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you are still here, maybe give me a like and a subscribe it would mean so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.